Where on a map is Iowa? Iowa. When you, when you leave London, you head west. I've got this vision in my head where a lot of these smaller cities in the US all look quite similar. And then you go over New York. Don't go as far as LA, otherwise you've gone too far. And I don't know whether we're going to find anything that's going to absolutely amaze us or whether it's going to be quite run of the mill, but I'm looking forward to finding out. I've got a B in geography. Would you believe it? No, I did. I've got a D. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa is this state here. And we've travelled from London to spend 24 hours in Des Moines, the state capital of Iowa. Lots of people who have heard this all ask the same question. Why? We're trying to find game changers, stand out food and experiences that you remember forever. And our whole itinerary has been put together by some of you, the locals. So it's out of our hands. Location one, the downtown farmer's market for breakfast. So we've got a bit of a plan. Uh, we're each going to split up, go and find what we think is the best looking breakfast available, buy it, chuck it onto Instagram, and you're going to vote. Got this in the bag. The fresh produce is amazing. The whole market, though, is so tactile. Everyone buys by looking, by smelling, by touching, and then they purchase all the fresh stuff. You know, I just won, Barry and I, two tickets to see a volleyball game. The season starts in September. <laughs> so we're going to have to come back. This is amazing. I might fail on the looks department yep. for my breakfast anyway. Oh, okay. But I've gone for a breakfast bowl which is full of sausage, potatoes, egg onion, topped with cheese, salsa, sour cream, jalapenos, hot sauce. This is everything you want in a breakfast. This is a ton of yum, packed full of fresh stuff from the Ryan Hart family farm in Iowa, around the corner. It's got bacon, it's got fresh tomato, it's got zucchini, it's got buff moths, it's got basil, and it's got an egg souffle. As you saw, Barry went big, American big, with an iced cinnamon bun. Another one of those really easy things to share. <laughs> Just do it. I had all the samples, so I know how good that tastes. That's so good. Time to split up. Baz and Jay in search of gold, whilst Ben and I were sent here. The World Food Prize Norman Building. The World Food Prize recognises the achievements of individuals who have advanced human development by improving the quality, quantity and availability of food in the world. I read that off the website. It's basically the Nobel Peace Prize for food, and it was started by this amazing guy, Dr. Norman E. Borlaug, who won the Nobel Prize back in 1970. He created this award to inspire others to make an impact globally through food. Since its inception in 1987, past winners have impacted millions of lives globally in overcoming challenges in poverty, malnutrition, obesity, water insecurity, just to name a few. And we were blown away. So the building is stunning, but around this kind of mezzanine, there are a few phrases that have been inscribed. And it, as she says there, that this is a celebration of the man who saved more lives than any other person who has ever lived, thanks to the advancement of the human condition by increasing the quality, quantity, and availability of food, because food is the moral right of all who are born into this world. Enjoying yourself? We're running out of time, but I'm going to make that bedtime reading. <laughs> Dare I say it, I think this is the game changer of the future of food. And it's here in Des Moines. Meanwhile, Jay and Baz were here. This is the Iowa State Capitol, seat of the Iowa General Assembly, and it's located in Iowa's capital city, Des Moines. The commanding feature, in case you hadn't noticed it, is the central towering dome constructed of iron and brick and covered with tissue paper thin sheets of pure 23 karat gold. But is that the same stuff you put on a cupcake? Probably is, you know. I've, I've never been inside a capital like building before. I want to recreate like a West Wing moment where there's a whole gaggle of us and we just walk around a corner talking about massive government issues. Tell them that we need to get the Senate into this immediately. Tell Congressman Smith that he's out. If he doesn't vote with us, he's against us. Hey, 
I know what you mean, yeah. I know, I, right. but it just doesn't yeah. work with a shirt. Off the back of our food prize experience, I remembered something I'd seen back in the airport, Cultivation Corridor, which we learned is an organisation built to support and sustain the science that feeds the world. And this is Billy, who is lovely, who told us some more of the cool stuff they're working on. We use our land to feed the world, and we're moving everything we've done with human health into animal health, putting like a Fitbit on an animal, and so you know they're taking less steps. Well, maybe they're not feeling well. What's going on? And it's not technically a Fitbit, but it's similar to a Fitbit. You can put a sensor in a pig's nose. If it goes off, you know that one's not feeling well. And maybe you can take care of an issue before it hits your whole herd. Turns out Des Moines is doing some really amazing stuff. It was time to meet up. Nature was calling. Cue chubby lads in life jackets montage. We'll bring it back, promise. Jamie said you two are like um, that scene out of the notebook. I've just noticed Jamie's uh, life jacket. What are the chances that's going to work when he falls in? Surprisingly peaceful on the lake. You're some skimming stones away from being a cliche. Two, three, four. One. Next, you sent us for ice cream, and not just any ice cream, apparently the best ice cream on the earth. It's an amazing artisan, like ice cream done the old fashioned way, and it's got a pastry chef in there who does really innovative flavours. They don't do the classics, and it's all made from local grass fed dairy, milk, and cream. I have a blueberry pancake ice cream. I think there's actual pancake in the ice cream. I've got black cherry and white chocolate. Ooh. Coffee, caramel and donuts in ice cream. I'm pretty sure before mine was ice cream, mine was a really light, airy, fluffy, beautiful pancake with blueberries. And now it's just absorbed all the creamy dairiness from the ice cream. Like a full hit of cherry. Mm and a crunch of white chocolate, which is fair enough. But in these ones, you get the texture of donut and pancake. This doesn't taste of Oreos. This is Oreos is, in yeah. an ice cream. I, I would actually go out there. I'd say that was definitely the best ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. That blueberry pancake ice cream was, was the best. It's a cue, Massive yes, cue. you know it's going to be good, but you didn't expect it to be that good. <laughs> Like the whole of today, Mike has kept lots of secrets up his sleeve, but he's been most excited for this one, and therefore so am I. The last item on your list sent us here, proof. And according to locals, the best restaurant in the whole of Iowa. And they didn't even have a menu. What I'd love is that potentially, you to be able to say one of the best meals of your life you ate in Des Moines. This month is tomatoes. So it's heirloom tomato season here in Iowa. So every course is gonna be revolving around um, beautiful, colorful tomatoes. First course, heirloom tomato salad. So every color and shape and size under the sun with some micro herbs and mozzarella ice cream. I know. <laughs> it is really nice, but it takes a minute to get there because it's so different to what <laughs> you're expecting. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is a confit tomato? I don't know either, but I can tell you what it tastes like. When the waitress brought this over, her exact words were, there's a lot going on on this plate, and she had to get a piece of paper out to describe everything that was on it. We're not in Des Moines anymore. We're in Flavortown. Oh, really? Oh, no. We're in Flavortown. Shut up. Shut up. Round three. Round three. They are pushing the boundaries of cooking techniques, but I also love they're using every part of the tomato and every cooking technique that I knew existed and a few that I didn't. This is the first course that's come to the table that's actually made me salivate based on what you can smell. A dish that tastes very different to it looks. I don't usually enjoy fish courses that much. I just don't, because they're not meat. I do like this one. <laughs> smells incredible. Mm. That is prosciutto wrapped chicken with melons. How do you make food taste like that? With every mouthful, you're like, I don't know where I'm going and if I like it. But by the end of it, you're like, I really enjoyed that journey and I want to do it again. Here he is. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> when he explained this dish to us, I went wobbly at the knees. And this is dessert just arriving now. This feels like a step too far, just from the description. That's an ice cream! That's all! Of all the horses, the brownie is the most tomato. Basil ice cream is amazing! <laughs> Man versus food, and we're still here. Barry's still here. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I reckon I could probably pinpoint a couple of moments that were game-changing for me. I think black cat ice cream was out of this world. I've never had an ice cream flavour that isn't just flavour, but is actually in the ice cream. Um, I think proof as a restaurant, that 10 course meal that we had was a game changer for me. I've never had tomatoes so many different ways before. If you're open to finding new experiences, that is the place to go. Because I think you'll have a new experience every five minutes.